ready. Okay. Hello and welcome to 22 Live. Uh, this is an edition of 22 Live. It is Tuesday, 12 Pacific time here in San Diego. It's a beautiful day, as you can tell from behind me. My name is Jerry Rocco, Director of Marketing for 22 Social. I'm very happy to have you here with us with our special guest who I'm going to announce in just a minute. First, I just want to tell you what 22 Social is and what we're going to do today. 22 Social is basically the fastest, easiest way for you to get your offer inside Facebook and on mobile phones. It allows you to use Facebook as the world's largest person registry to identify the leads that are coming into your database and also allows you to market back to them. So it turns your social activity into results and it's a really fast, easy way to do it. So if you want to get 22 Social at any time during this presentation, you can be watching this on several different pages. Just scroll to the bottom of the page and click the button that says Get 22 Social Now. So you can do that on any page that you're on. What is 22 Live? That's what we're going to do today. 22 Live is a show that we do every single week. It's your direct connection, your ability to hang out, literally hang out with successful and elite speakers, coaches, authors, entrepreneurs, business leaders, thought leaders. It's your turn to not only like learn from them, learn about them, but you can interact with them, which brings me to where we are right now. How do you interact with not only 22 Social and our guests today, but um, how do you stay connected to the fan pages you love? So if you're on this page right now, you're actually on a 22 social page. So what you can do is go to the top, it's on this side. If you haven't liked the page, go ahead and do that first. If you hover over the like button, you can click get notifications. That'll show you that you could, that'll ensure that you can stay connected with this page, whichever page you're on. You can also recommend, send, tweet, anything up there. And if you want to get involved with the conversation and the contest that we have today, you want to look at the comments below. Now the comments below are going to refresh every 90 seconds unless you uncheck that box and you can do it manually. What you want to do is you want to reply to the main comment right there to be entered into the contest today. The contest will be what drives you. We need to know what drives you. We're going to get into you know, how that's going to relate to the prize and what the prize is uh, when we have our special guest out as well as CEO Renee Benuelos. So what is going to win? What are the rules? So you got a comment as a reply and the comment that you, you're telling us what drives you, the best one is going to win a free session with Vanessa Horn. Vanessa Horn is an, not only as well as a speaker, coach, author, has a new book coming out called I'll Have What She's Having and she'll be out with us today. She's pretty much, what, what she does is inspires and, excuse me, <laughs> I'm uh, a little bit stuck here. So what we do is uh, we connect with the speakers, coaches, and authors and that's what we're doing here with Vanessa Horn. She inspires entrepreneurs just like you and empowers them to go out and build your brand and actually follow your true passion. So we're going to today show you how to take that passion, find out what drives you and connect that actually to dollars. What we really love to do at 22 Social is to get that down to the fewest moving parts as possible. And if you know what drives you, we're going to help you to translate that into every piece of your marketing message. So it brings me great pleasure to introduce Vanessa Horn as she interviews Renee Benuelos. So let me step aside here. and. <laughs> You're welcome. You, I'm really excited for this because I get to work with you on a daily basis, sometimes eight, nine days a week, even though there's only seven. <laughs> and I and, and we had a chance to meet the other day and talk, and I'm really excited for um, you to interview Renee and find out what drives Renee, because I'm sure myself and the rest of the team members here are going to learn a lot about you. Try to keep <laughs> try to keep it together. All You're right. in good hands. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good time. Vanessa, I'm, uh, I'm happy to have you done a lot in terms of uh, shifting my mindset and I really appreciate that. So I think everyone here is uh, going to have a good treat. Um, so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get to this point? I know right now you're, you're an author, you, you coach people on a daily basis, you help people have the right mindset and the right purpose to drive their business. How did you become that? How did you get to this point and why? What, what's your, what's your uh, purpose? Well, I believe a lot of us have this passion inside that says, I want to make a bigger difference in the world. And I worked, my, my father was an entrepreneur, and I saw the ups and downs of business, like sometimes feast, sometimes famine, and I thought, there's no way I'm going into that. <laughs> <laughs> so I went the traditional corporate route and thought, okay, I'm going to get my secure paycheck and do all of that, and I realized I was, I, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted the flexibility to be home with my family my family, be home with my kids, and make a difference. And while I was in college, one of my mentors, he said, Vanessa, if you look at all these people that are around here, 
I can guarantee you I know the majority of what they're thinking. And I said, what? He goes, they're concerned about how they're going to pay the mortgage. They're concerned about how they're going to pay for their kids' school. They're concerned about all these bills that they have in their life. And as long as they do, they will never build empires because they're staying in the cares of this world. And whenever I heard that and I started seeing, like as I started going in my path in life and realizing, okay, I'm trying to make this thing work. Right. I'm trying to make day-to-day -day life work and providing for my family, and yet I want to make a difference. And I started to see that I was the person he was talking about. I was in building empires because I was one of those that was thinking, okay, how can I provide for my family, make sure my kids are taken care of, and realizing, okay, how can I really do what I know I can do and making a difference? And so that's whenever I brought the merge together of saying, you know what? It's not some future date to make a difference. I can make a difference in my everyday life. And bringing that together helps me empower entrepreneurs to be the ones that help the people who are having those concerns every single day about the, the cares of this world. Because money is the number one issue that people go to bed at night concerned about solving in their life. Right. I mean, we were so busy stuck on the day-to-day -day things, like you're saying, cover even getting through the month that we don't leave enough room for everything that's important. Absolutely. Right, right. Um, I want to ask you... Um, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quick check on uh, audio. It was off. It was off. Okay, cool. We can still hear you, but it's just kind of quiet, so I want to check. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. We might check. Um, what did you, what, what would you say gave you that, well, or what was that moment where you woke up, where you realized you were that person, that professor, or that mentor was talking about? Do you recall that moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes as driven, and achieving things like we can get so in that type A and in the busyness and making life work that we're not connected to our heart. And the biggest wake up call for me came one day when I actually had a miscarriage. That was the starting point. And I was connected to my heart in ways I never had before. So I had had success in my entrepreneurial ventures, but all of a sudden I started seeing like, Vanessa, you're not connecting at a heart level with people and really having the impact and making the difference and having even the sales success that you could have because you're not connected to your own heart. Okay, wow. And it was wow. a total wake-up call and I saw that and I said, I've got to make some changes. And it made me wake up to why am I doing what I'm doing? Why? If I put everything aside and I really evaluate if this were the last year of my life, what would I do? It helps you put things in perspective about what would I put my time and energy toward, and you realize there's a lot of things that we have on our calendar and that we have in our day-to-day -day life that aren't those things that bring us alive. And so how do we bring more of that into our day-to-day? -day? That's interesting timing because that's one of the things I've been looking at or I was looking at throughout the holidays is what, how do I shape my calendar so that there's enough things that I care about in there and not, not inundated with the stuff that's not so important. Yeah. that I'm not a machine, that I'm not just crunching every single day with the same stuff versus shifting out of that and, and worrying about what's important. Right? You know what Thoreau said? Thoreau said the mass of men live quiet lives of desperation. Yeah. And I believe I it to that. be true that entrepreneurs have that opportunity to set people free. And so today we're talking about purpose. Right. And so we're talking about, this is the way I see it. When I had that wake-up call for myself, I started saying, like, how can the work that we do as entrepreneurs really make a difference and set kept us free so that we're not just in our attempt to make our businesses successful, getting stuck in the cares of life, getting stuck in the money side of it, and being driven by that alone. And so the movie, I don't know, I, we've, you want to bring that up? Schindler's List was a monumental for me. This was, I mean, this is an old movie, right? A Steven Spielberg film that is based on the true story of Oscar Schindler, who was okay. a he was a German greedy businessman, attempting to just continue to have more and more profits from his business. One day he wakes up and he says, "These factories that I've been using for profit." can also 
be used to set captives free. So right, us as entrepreneurs, as business owners, how can our platform, our businesses, be one for profit but also set captives free? So what he determined was, I can bring as many of the Jews into my factories and that would save them from having to go to the concentration camps. And it became his mission to use his platform to bring as many as he could in. And when doing so, true story, 1,100 Jews were saved. Their lives were saved as a result. So he employed them all. That's why they... Yes. They weren't. And at the end of the movie, I mean, they live to this day. They're called the Schindler Jews. Generations have been impacted by his work. And they contributed every little bit of gold that they had in their teeth to melt down a ring. And inscribed inside of it, it said, he who has saved one life has saved the world entire. One more time. <laughs> the ring said, he who has saved one life has saved the world entire. It's that person's world. Yeah. And so he saved his life and the impact it had of using his platform as a business to set captives free. So what I believe as business owners, how we can have better sales, how we can have better impact, is by tapping into how does our work set captives free. That's our purpose, our, pur our why. I can only imagine, um, I need to do more than just imagine, but I can only imagine the kind of motivation he had after he realized that his business was not just uh, driven to, or his goals were not just driven to grow and get more profit, like you were saying, but every single thing he did could affect a life, could save a life, not just mentally save them, but actually physically save them from death, right? Absolutely. So, wow, I mean, there's that much in in, um, in line, right? I mean, there's that much to lose, potentially, so when that why is a lot bigger, then we're going to move a lot faster and more efficiently. We're going to do a lot more, and we're not going to give up, right? Right. Well, so that, how do we translate for that to entrepreneurs so that they can tangibly walk away with something that they're, is driving them and they can bring that into all of their messaging and increase their conversions in the sales process? So that's my interest is like, how do we tap into that at such a deep level within you that's driving you that helps you as an entrepreneur to press forward in the challenges that you may face? Because it's not about you. It's about who are the captives that you're going to set free. Right. And that messaging being out, that's your why that drives you. So when a lot of people talk about why, I mean, we talk about multiple industries, right, that say put your vision boards and, and what is your why that drives you. And you see all these images of yachts and boats and the mansions right. and all that, which there's nothing wrong with that. But what I say is what is it that's not just about you and fulfilling what you want, but what is that why that drives you that's about others, that's of service and purpose of helping others? That's what we want to tap into. Yeah, it totally makes sense. I mean, I could always, if I'm struggling in the morning and I one day I feel like this is too much, I can't handle it, uh, I may convince myself that I don't need that yacht, that I don't need that Lamborghini, which I'm not big on Lamborghinis, but <laughs> if, I, if that was on my vision board, that I, might, I don't need those things. Maybe I don't need that big lifestyle. Maybe I, maybe I don't need it. But if I feel that it's not me who I'm yeah. only working for, that I'm working for other people, then they need to be freed, right? In, in, mm -hmm. in whatever way my, my, my work frees them, right? So that's, that's a different conversation. And I know we've talked a lot and you've done a lot for me in that, uh, in that respect in terms of discovering what my true passion is, right? Actually realizing it more than anything. Yeah. Right. So do we want to walk through that so we can give people an example? Yeah, um, uh, you're, you're going to see a little bit of a, almost a replay, and I'm, I hope I, <laughs> I told the guys I was, was going to try not to cry because I almost cried with you, Vanessa, last time we spoke. So I think this is a good time for you to uh, w ask me a few questions and, and see where this goes to help me discover what, what the real reason why. More, mainly helping people discover it because I, I knew it, but I wasn't connected to it, and I don't think anyone in the audience knew it. I don't think anyone um, here in the team at Twenty Social knew it. So, um, you want me to just? Yeah. So, I mean, the whole intention of what we're doing here is to serve other entrepreneurs who are sitting there saying, "Okay, I'm in, trying to build my business. How do I tap into what is that deeper reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, so that it compels people to work with me?" and helps convert to higher sales, right? Because that is of service to have them, the, whatever we're bringing out into the world. So you're super talented. 
You have gifts that are across the board. And now at this season in your life, you're bringing, you're bringing forth 22 Social as a business platform out in the world. So on the, on the peripheral, people can look at it and say, okay, what is this? It's a, it looks like it's a software that you can use in conjunction with Facebook. But what's really going on? How do you stop an entrepreneur in their tracks to really take a listen to what's going on and could it really serve them? So we were talking about that. Here as an entrepreneur owner, you have a staff that you're managing. You have more people that you want to help with your platform. How do you get that out? And then we start having the conversation. Renee, what drives you? Um, wow. I was hoping I wasn't going to get here that fast in the timeline, but I think it's time. I think um, um, myself, a lot of the other guys here with me, Jerry and Andrew and the rest of the guys here at the team and in the team, we realize we've struggled before. We've struggled with getting a message out there, with promoting something, with connecting with people, and just the amount of time it takes to put an offer together, or put a page together to actually get it out to people. That's painful, and it always goes through our mind. We figured it out, and we pain through it to figure it out. I we could only imagine what that new person that's hearing a bunch of different messages on the internet, that getting advice from here and I get advice from there. And I think that's that's the biggest um, holdback is there's so much information online. But my quest became since back in 2009 when I started working with small business owners when I was actually offering them SEO uh, was to save them time. I noticed, I started seeing a pattern. Most of them, they spent so much time in their business. They were already working 13, 14 hours a day. And, I, and I, that's when I started dabbling into Facebook and figuring it out and putting a lot of time into it. I thought, there's no way these business owners are going to have the time to figure this out on their own. They need to be helped. It needs to be easy for them because it's not, if it's not easy, they're not going to do it. And if they don't do it, they're not going to survive to the next phase of marketing, the next phase of business where people want to be connected and talk to you, right? So how do my goal became how do I make it easy so that they can get off the ground, build a community, and get going on Facebook and have a place where they can actually ask for a call to action fast? How do we do it in minutes? How do we not – because we, we, you know what? They don't have hours. And um, – one of the reasons I connected with them is because my parents were small business owners when I was growing up. My parents had a bakery and a few other businesses growing up, and they were, they never stopped. Yeah. They, they, they um, uh, made sure they worked with customers, right? They selling the uh, baked goods throughout the day till they probably 10 o'clock at night. And then after night, the bakers would come in and work, and they had to be supervised. I don't know how they slept. Whew. So, Seeing those business owners brought back a lot of memories. I saw my parents in them. I, they're not in that stage of their life anymore. They've gone past that. But I saw my parents in them. I saw if my parents were building a business the way they did back then in a small town or a big town. But now Facebook's made everything a small town, right? Everyone knows each other. But there's no way. They were already not sleepy. Yeah. There's You're no way. Find out more time. When were they going to have time to research the internet, to find out how this stuff worked, to put it together, to hire a team to put together a good website, to hire a team to connect it to Facebook, to hire a team to help them put a message out there to something like Google Plus? No way. They had maybe maybe one night they would have maybe sacrificed an hour or two of even less sleep that we were going to get, and that wouldn't have been enough. Mm -mm. So from that point on, I, I, um, God, I realized I needed help. I realized that, that there, was a, there was an opportunity for me to help them. There was an opportunity for me to help them shrink that time because I figured if they don't have another 10, 10 or 12 hours extra a week to dedicate to this, they're not even going to start. So what's going to happen? They're going to fail. Not only that, they might struggle with the old ways of advertising, the old ways of connecting with their customers that are no longer working. So they're going to spin their wheels, and eventually, again, they're going to fail. So um, I still remember being a kid, and um, we were so enslaved to that business because 
and I'm thinking that we, we couldn't close it down. We couldn't. We, we were always there. We couldn't travel anywhere. We couldn't do much. So the fact that you a lot of you guys have a business on the internet is, is such a blessing. But to add to that, there wasn't any more room left. No. They were, in the, they were stuck in the cares, right? Right. Exactly. So my mission became how do I make it as quickly and easily as possible for someone to promote their business through social media yeah. so that they don't have to hire a team to put together landing pages. To, they don't have to hire a team to connect at all with their email systems and everything else that comes with that because every minute that we add to the time it takes them to set it up, that's every minute they're not sleeping. That's every minute they're not spending with their family. They're already it's entrepreneurship is hard. It's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. I mean, you no. there's so many challenges. So my goal became how do I and at the time I wasn't thinking of clicks, but how do I make it as easy as possible, as quick as possible to promote your message um, on the internet? And every time I say message, Jerry's in the back reminding me, offer, offer, right? He's a marketer in the team, obviously. But I wish I could make it automatically. I, I wish with a thought they would be up and going and would be attracting customers. We have it down to a few clicks. But um, I'm going back to even, even, even aside from that small business owner, even those um, thought leaders like yourself who have a very valuable message to put out there with a really, really good purpose, it's rough to connect with people. Imagine you have to travel a lot to speak. And people are getting worn out. A lot of people don't 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 get their message across. Don't teach what they have to offer. Meanwhile, there's 1.19 billion people on Facebook. Wow. I lost track of that stat. We're almost at two billion. Largest social media platform, and you're helping to optimize and get that message right with your platform, with the work that you're doing. So it's helping even other entrepreneurs who are setting captives free to multiply their effect. Right. Well, even through what they're doing, or even by listening to thought leaders like yourself, I mean, look at this platform. I'm, I'm, I feel blessed. I'm lucky that that you guys are able to connect with us, and and we don't have to be in the same room. You didn't have to travel. You traveled out here to see us, and I appreciate that. I'm, I feel blessed. But you don't have to travel on a constant basis to to put your message out there and to have people say, hey, I like what she what, what she's saying. I can connect. I can get behind that. I want to work with her. Imagine if this technology was not, wasn't out there and you actually had to travel every day of the week or every or two or three days a week to speak in different stages and you couldn't do it any other way. So look at how different that feels. Here you are, somebody who has a product and a service that you're offering to entrepreneurs. And so there's other entrepreneurs who are on the, the live stream today who are saying, I have something to offer others. It's a different feel when you say, look, this is what I have to put out in the world versus saying, I get the pain of my customer, client, prospect. You got the pain because you saw what your parents went through. Right. It was affecting you as a child. How many other entrepreneurs, their children are being affected by the fact that their business is owning them? So now you're coming from a place that says, look, I get your pain, and I want to offer you something that could eliminate that, alleviate that, and help you be more effective in what you do. That's why I'm offering this. So here's how you've tapped in to your purpose at a deeper level, and the way it translates into more sales is making certain that message is known by all, by all your staff, by all of the people that you that are prospects for your business and other JV partners, other people that are a sideline in the industry because they might be doing something else, but they're working alongside you. So we had this conversation and I said, Renee, how many people out of the 10 people on your staff know that story? And I said about probably two. two. You have 20% of the of your staff knowing and there's something about when a hundred percent know that it's not just a hundred percent effectiveness it's exponential how many of your 20,000 customers very very few and it's what drives you when you face your own challenges in your business because you know 
that you have to help eliminate the pain of another entrepreneur being owned by their business like your parents were. It's it's a, it's a different. Um, I mean, we talked uh, a few days back, and it's different waking up. Even waking up this morning, I've been sick for the past two days, and I thought, I can't, I can't not show up. I can't. And luckily, I was able to rest, and and I feel good now. But it's not just about me. So it's a different. It's a different battle. I mean, we're all every entrepreneur is battling every single day in your mind with people around you, especially if there's no one in your family who's an entrepreneur, you're the weirdo, right? That that thinks they can do something on their own because everybody just has a job, right? Um, some of us weren't cut out for a job. Some of us, we just, that's not where we fit. A lot of people aren't. They just don't know that they can, right? But knowing that me getting up in the morning, putting the extra time, struggling to figure out how we're going to make features work, struggling how we're going to make the business model work, struggling with different things, any number of different challenges that every entrepreneur faces, it's not just my neck on the line, it's not just the team members here are working on the line, it's an entire community that depends on, the, on us moving forward, providing them more value, helping them, shrinking that time as much as possible. So. That's gonna make my. This has made my mornings a lot different. It's not just the little struggles I had yesterday, the little challenges for next week. This is a big game. Yeah. Um, Let's hear from the audience. Let's make certain that if they're tapped into it, if you're on the line today and you know what is driving you, just like Renee, he had never connected what he was doing with 22 Social with this pain that he'd experienced as a child seeing his parents owned by their small business. And when he brought the two together, it created this drive for him that was a purpose that was igniting what he was doing on a day-to-day -day basis to make it past the challenges that he would otherwise perhaps be, be struggling against. So what about you? Maybe you know what your purpose is. Maybe you know what drives you. What is it that is about others? What is it how you want to set captives free? We want to hear that. We want to hear that because whether or not you're articulating it this way, you and I and all of us that are working here together are helping to elevate what, what, this, what business can be about. Because as I said before, money is the number one concern that people have, and as business owners, we have that we're touching more lives because of the work that we do than any other industry, in my opinion. So put it into the comments. We want to know, and if you see one that you're reading and you like it, like it. Because what I want to do is help the person who has a sense of what their drive is, a sense of what their purpose is, and they're saying, Vanessa, but wait, how do I translate this into more sales? So what are the next steps after you've tapped into that? Is we look at what is your messaging? What is your branding? Is that congruent? Is it clear? Do you, does your staff, does everyone you touch, does every client, prospect have the opportunity to know that? And then how are you executing at a sales level? Because if you're holding back in sales, if you're holding back and making the offer, if you're holding back and making it super clear how someone can work with you, you're not serving them at the highest level. Right. They're missing that opportunity to work with you. Right. So every time I don't make I don't make it clear why why we're here, why I'm here. And how they can work with you. Exactly. I'm stealing from you. I'm stealing from your opportunity to be here, and now, and I'm gonna own up to it. We've we've known each other for it seems like a while now, but it's been maybe two months or so, and I wasn't as adamant or I wasn't as clear with you what that mission needed to be, and um, I think um, initially when I first started this business, I thought I I mean I've always wanted to help people, right? And I thought I have to get to the mountaintop to be able to have the resources to help people make a difference, right? To help empower them to make a difference and make a difference with people myself. And a few months back, it hit me. It was so strange. It just hit me. I thought, wait a minute. I don't have to wait hmm. to be at the mountaintop. Yeah. I can do it now. And I realized that our platform is empowering people to get the message out, is empowering people to succeed by having a way to spread that message much more efficiently. Not only that, those good messages, right, are being heard by more people. 
the more people that hear you, Vanessa, the more their life is going to be affected and changed in a positive way. So we're making a difference now. That, that made a shift for me. And you know what? And I still kept it quiet. So that was my mistake. But that's why you're here. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that. But um, I, um, I am going to be, I, I think I told you, I am going to be Adam and, 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 and tell you what, how important it is that you use our technology to spread your message because I want people to hear from you on a regular basis. So I did ask you, um, I kind of alluded to it, I guess, a few days back of you actually committing to putting together a, a show on a weekly basis. Yeah. So are you, I'm going to put you on the spot. Are you ready for that? You know what? I, I'm not the kind of person who sets New Year's resolutions. I set themes of what I want the year to be. And for 2014, I said I want my theme to be message. Wow. Getting my message out there in a bigger way. You wouldn't believe what has happened. What are we at? The 14th day of the month? Yeah. And I have time. had 10 interviews between television, radio, this, that just have been like one after another, after another, after another, asking, like setting intention on message, and now you're, say, you're saying this? And it's so it, sometimes we can say, okay, wait, imperfect as I am, and I have a mission and work to do in the world, it, it's selfish to hold back and say, it's imperfect, I'm imperfect. But when I said that, I said, okay, God, use me how you will because I'm really here to help set captives free. And if I can empower the entrepreneur to use their platform to be of better service in the world, to help the people who are every single day concerned about the cares of the world so that they can build empires that are impacting people's lives, then that's what I want to do. So I would be going against what I intended for this year to say no. So it's, it's a hell yeah for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're very powerful. You're very powerful, and I, and I could tell that from the minute we started talking. And so I'm, I'm excited because through you, you're helping me with my mission of not just helping you, but you're going to be helping other entrepreneurs push forward in a much more efficient way. Well, let's talk about that because, you know, I wrote the book, I'll Have What She's Having. And the way that they're translating business is I've got to work with you. So how do we be that person that invites pursuit? I don't believe in going out and pouncing on people and I've got to go and find people, you know, really it's about getting our message out there so that people are drawn, making certain that we're clear on what are the, the benefits and what we have to offer to others. And that's the power of what your platform does and the marketing opportunity. It's helping to broadcast that at a big level. But how do we as individuals show up in such a way that has that kind of response? So in the sales, I really love the sales process. That same mentor that said, Vanessa, that person there, that person there, they're concerned about their mortgage and paying for their kids' education. He was the same one who said, Vanessa, go into sales and invest in gold. <laughs> <laughs> in college, and I was like, nope, I'm not a salesperson. That's not for me. And I went into corporate finance, and now it's my career, and I realized, you know what all that sales is? All that sales is is influence and serving. And when I really got that, if I can make about serving other people, it made me realize we are all salespeople. If we're here to make a difference, we're all salespeople. Right. So how do we show up in such a way that has people say, hey, I'll have what you're having. And how do we show up in such a way that we ha can captivate the listening ear of our prospects and clients so that we can serve them? And I believe it's an inside-out job. And this is what I call the anatomy of an influencer. And it starts with our mind. Our mind is coming from a place of curiosity. A mind that says, you, let's say that you are a prospective client or, or a prospective somebody I could serve. Right. And the same thing for you with the people you're serving, all the entrepreneurs. I'm, in my mind, it's like, what's going on in your world? How can I help you? What are the concerns that you're dealing with? Because you're a human being. You're not just a transaction. So how can I, what is going on? How can I get your world? And I'm putting myself, as a, if I were you with your clients, I'm putting myself as, as that son, Renee, that saw the pain his parents were going through. 
asking the question, how is this entrepreneur being owned by their business and how can I serve them? That's a mind of curiosity. Eyes of an influencer say, I see more to you. How can I really see you and get you and what's important in your world? Ears of an influencer say, how can I listen? How can I listen more deeply to even what you're saying that you want so that I can come from a place of service? Mouth. The mouth is where breath comes out. And the word inspire means to breathe life into. So how can every word that comes out of our mouth be one that breathes life into the people that we come into contact? The hands of an influencer are hands that say, how can I serve? How can I serve? And if what I have to offer this prospect could serve them, it would be a disservice to not make it clear how they could work with me to make that invitation to take, and I don't like to call it the close, personally. I like to call it the open. Mm -hmm. So how can I serve? And if it's not what I have, then how can I point them in the direction of something else that could powerfully serve them? The heart of an influencer is open-hearted. It's an energy that says, hey, this is about other people. How can I give? It's not about how can I get more sales and make my business grow. How can I give? How can I come from a place that's giving to others? And the feet of an influencer says, how can I boldly go where no one else is willing to go? Wow. <laughs> and when we show up and say, that's me, that's me, how can I serve the client in front of me? How can I serve this person in front of me? Then we can, we're not, we're not coming from a neediness. I can't tell you how many salespeople I work with who say, Vanessa, I got this important client who I can potentially close. How do I close them? I really... And I'm like, you know what I'm hearing? Energy that's about you. It's, it's all, come out, come out with it. And how can you serve that person? What, get in their world and then offer what you have as a, if it's a service to take it further with them. It's, you know, there's, there's been times in my life briefly where, I, where I've connected to that and it's a whole different conversation. It's a, a whole different state of mind that I think you defining that makes it makes a big difference in my life. Awesome. I want to help you. <laughs> I want to help you get your work out in the world in a We're big gonna way. We're going to help each other. We're going to help each other, <laughs> Vanessa. Um, I think I'm going to, I really feel that what we do helps people spread their message much more efficiently so they connect with the right audience so they can serve. Absolutely. And, and I think you, by um, giving this weekly hangout show, you're going to serve a lot. You're going to be in congruence with what you feel is right. And the people, the right people, the people who fit with, with what you have to offer are going to gravitate towards you. Like you were saying, the ones who aren't, they're going to be able to find their way with where they need to go. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think um, you come from a place of abundance, that there's enough clients for you. There's enough clients for everybody, the right clients. We can't serve everybody. We're not for everybody. Our platform's not for everybody. There's somebody out there who, who, who uh, doesn't need our platform, right? We're not, you know what? We're not right for Coca-Cola. <laughs> We're not right for Red Bull. <laughs> so... Um, and that's okay. There's a right entrepreneur that we are right for, that we can help. For everyone else, it's okay. It's okay if you tell them, look, go look somewhere else. We're not it. Or point them in the right direction. Well, and how do we take that neediness out of the, the sales process and their close? Is that it is that abundance. It's, say, it's seeing yourself, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be down the road, and how can you embody with all of your senses what you imagine and will feel, look, taste, hear, look here? What do you imagine it'll be there? And you see yourself that as a, as a done deal, and all you're looking for is who are is along the way that you're going to serve, who is along the way that you're going to serve, because this is a done deal. It's done. When, there's no question about that. So when we as entrepreneurs can see, okay, where do I want to be with my business? How can I really embody that now so that I can show up as this influencer that says, hey, I'm here to serve you. Because this over here, check, it's done. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about you. Our paths have crossed, 
And sometimes I'll do a little prayer, <laughs> an internal prayer where I say, you know what? I have, I have come into contact with this human being who has desires, longings, and things that they want in this world and things that they're trying to create. And our paths have crossed for a reason. How can I be still enough to recognize what is in this moment, the sacredness of this moment of who you are, that our paths would cross, and being still to say, okay, how can I serve? How can I serve? Focus on that. Have that be your full focus, right? Yeah. Versus, like you said, the, the goal that's already going to happen. And you see that there's prospects, there's an endless supply of people all around you. When you look at, okay, is it, are they breathing? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean they'll be your customer, right? but it means it's someone you can serve. Right. And it multiplies. It multiplies that. And things line up. Yeah. for you and that checkbox at the end is checked so in this like, I love tying everything back to let me see where are we at with time okay let's see we have uh, actually I like the I don't know if we've actually been clear with what's going on here but if uh, you want to take the time and talk about the free gift yes yeah, absolutely. Before we get, <laughs> this is so good I just get carried away <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here today, I mean, here we're entrepreneurs just like you if you're on this show today, and you have your own unique product or service that you're trying to get out in the world. And there's something inside of you that is that purpose, is that drive, that maybe you've tapped into it, maybe you have not. And as my passion is to translate that purpose, that passion, that drive that's inside of you to more sales. Because to me, more sales means more service is being done in the world. So I get a kick out of that. <laughs> so I want to offer a free gift for any of the viewers who are on today that you can click on the link below. And what that will do, it will walk you through a process of how do you tap into that at the deepest level for yourself. Discover your purpose. Discover what is that drive. Discover what it is that's going to compel you to move forward in the days when you might meet challenges in your business. It will help you discover what it is that's going to help your prospective customers connect with you. What needs to be instilled throughout your messaging and branding that compels others to work with you. It's all about that why. It's all about that why you're doing what you're doing. And so the free gift is a workbook that will help you walk through that for yourself. And then the, the contest winner will get to work with me one-on-one -on -one where I will, it's complimentary to you as the contest winner, we translate. We translate what you have identified as your purpose into how is that in every piece of your messaging and how, are you, how can we make that increase more sales for you. Do you think we've been it's, 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 it's crazy. Um, I think when we were discussing this a few days back that you're going to actually give a session and an yeah. hour of your time. I was, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you're doing this. I mean, whoever takes this contest, I think you're going to make a big impact in their life. So um, for everyone, if you want to go ahead and click on that green button down the road, um, you don't have to do it now, and get that free um, workbook to get a taste of what this is like. But you, you, need, you need to spend some time with Vanessa. So one of you is going to be lucky, lucky enough to get that. Um, How do you win? Let's just so we're more clear in case anyone's missed it. If you've put in the comments, what drives you? What do you feel is your purpose? What is it the way that you're going to help serve others? Put that in the comments. We want to hear. We want to be like embers of a fire, bringing that together and just fan that flame so that all of us are rising together in the impact we can make. So put that in there. You don't know who it's going to encourage. And if you like one of the comments that you see, go ahead and click like there on Facebook. The one who has the most likes will be the winner of this session with me. I want to meet you. It's, uh, I'm going to call out some people. We have uh, Matt uh, here from uh, Design on Purpose, and he has a question. Uh, where can I find the list of what the influencer is, the eyes, ears, hands, etc.? A oh, fantastic question. That's in my Profit with Honor program. I okay. have an, a cell system I call Profit with Honor, and it's that anatomy of an influencer. So go to VanessaHorn.com, and you can get you will get on an email 
you'll get an email from me, and when you reply back to that email, ask for that. Say, Vanessa, I want that anatomy of an influencer, and I'll send that to you. Happy to do that. We have uh, Heidi here. Uh, Heidi Howard, um, as a hard of hearing member of the deaf community, I'm driven to introduce deaf and hard of hearing children to deaf culture as early in their life as possible through performance and art. Beautiful. Wow. wow. Beautiful. I know Heidi, and so I know that's her personal her personal story. If you guys read that, I that that's that's very moving. I mean, I, go ahead and like it. <laughs> Nicole, right there, Vanessa, you're really making this hit home with me. Fantastic. I know because you'd reached out to me and you have a big cell that's on the line and you're saying, Vanessa, how do I get them to say yes to working with me? Hun, <laughs> embody the anatomy of an influencer, come from a place of service, get their world, and then see that you're, here's the key for the clothes. Okay? This is what I really believe, that when some people have a hard time asking for the money, I I really see like there's no money is just a transaction of service. So I'm gonna receive money from somebody and I'm gonna give it over here. Like money is just something that's taking place in the world, the service is taking place in the world. So I don't have any problem asking for the money because I believe the ninety percent of the transformation in someone's life takes place when they pay the money to work with me. So it would be a disservice to hold them to being unresourceful if they say, I can't afford it. If I believe that lie, then that's really keeping them in an unresourceful place. So I know, Nicole, you have somebody big that you were talking to, and I just encourage you how, can you, how can you fully get their world, what they need, how you can serve them, and then be of service in showing them how they can work more closely with you. We have a question here from Dave uh, from Gambrel Communications. How do I protect? How do you protect your dream and your success mindset when most of the world tries to steal your dream or bring you down? I think that's one of those struggles entrepreneurs face is not being able to get support from people that can't relate to us, right, from the outside world. So, we're so this is what I say. It is not serving you to believe that the world is trying to steal your dream or bring you down. Because if you're believing that thought, you're believing that there are others against you. And this is what I believe. The world is, this is what Howard Thurman said. Don't ask the world what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs are people who have come alive. So you, who was that that asked that question? If there is a dream and a passion inside of you, how can you be so alive in it that you're breathing life into others? You're the one who's breathing life into others. And surround yourself with other people who are like that because then it's such an encouragement. But don't look at it as you against the world. Look at it really as the world's looking for you to be that breath of life that's coming out there. And so live from that place so powerfully. It's like a candle in a dark room. It sh the, the darkness is not going to exist if that light is present, and you're that light. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> any any yes, others? It, um, I have Heidi again here. At which point do you decide that, that uh, I'm worth being paid dollars an hour or an engagement or, or inserting an astronomical number and still manage some humility? Wow, loaded question. Well, I love that because you know what? It's not about you. It's not about you. When you're asking the question, at what point am I worth it? You're making it about you. You're asking the question, what is their transformation worth? What is their transformation worth? And if you're helping them create that transformation, it is not about you. You're, you're assessing a value to that transformation. And the way I look at the value of that transformation is what's it costing them to stay in the status quo of life? That is a bigger cost to pay than it is to pay the money for this transformation. And I'm just there to serve in that transformation taking place. So take yourself out of the equation. Again, make it about the person that you're called to serve and look at what is the value of that transformation in relation to the cost of them staying where they're at. Right. Missing out. Yeah. Let's see, we have 
And you know what? That brings up a good the objection of when people say, I can't afford it. Because some people will say, well, I can't afford it. And this is when I say that when they pay the money, they're saying the cost of staying where I'm at, that's more painful than the, the money, than the pain of paying the money. That's really what you're looking at in that transformation. So it has for to you, be, right? Right, with 22 social, what's it cost? Let's give them a, let's $22 it. a month. $22 a month. Someone might say, well, you know, I don't know, I don't understand this, do I pay $22 a month? You're giving them a platform to get their message out on the largest social media in the world right. and then making it as easy as possible so they're not hiring a whole huge staff to do things. For $22 a month, they're leveraging what you do. It's crazy cheap. <laughs> what, is the, what is the cost of not taking advantage of that? I guarantee you it's a lot more than $22 a month. Tens of thousands of dollars if they were to do this for their own, for themselves. Yeah. And, and we know because we have. You've, you've created this entire infrastructure and then broken it down into minute bite-sized pieces that people can pay to take advantage of this. Right. I mean, the results, you actually use the platform with it. Trapped with um, it, you can't. Practice. I mean, there's, it's insane. But if, like you said, if they were to do this for themselves, that you couldn't run your business. If you set everything aside, put something together like we have, forget about what's important in your business. You won't have time to do it. So you got to pick one or the other. Yeah. Even working with developers, even working with designers. Believe me, I do that every single day. And that's what that's that's what we're like. I always said we're taking the hit for everybody. So um, all the time we spend figuring th how things work, what, what's, what's going to work, because we have, we try stuff. We're a business too. So we're always constantly trying stuff, testing things. We translate that over to, to our, our users. Absolutely. Well, and if you're on here, your expertise is something else. You don't want to spend the hours and the money and the investment to do what is, is Renee's expertise. He's making it his job in the world to know everything there is to make your business as leveraged as possible on Facebook. So you get to be free to be an expert in what you do best. To be an expert in your passion. Yeah. So um, that's how I'm fulfilling my, my desire to, oh, look. to provide. Um, what, other, what other questions? Let's see. Uh, What's a good indicator that you're on the right path? Look at who that little secret poster is. <laughs> <laughs> a good indicator that you're on the right path, I believe, is what, when I listen to, to clients and when I do the Discover Your Purpose session, I look at where have you experienced a pain in your life that makes you so compelled to help eliminate that pain in someone else's life. It's a visceral response. It's the same thing when, when Renee sat down to talk about what this segment piece was going to be. And I started asking him this question. He couldn't hold it back. Tears started coming down. And it's like, what's that? <laughs> what is that? There's magic in that. There's a connection with that and what you're doing. That's an indicator that you're on the right path. You have that visceral response. You can't hold it back. And don't. Don't. I kept telling myself, I gotta breathe during the hangout. I gotta <laughs> breathe, get some air, <laughs> get some oxygen. <laughs> but Not you know what? What did you do it for? Again, you did it because of your your purpose, which is how can I help other small business owners to not be owned by their business? So you put yourself out there and you said, okay, I'm willing to get out of my comfort zone because I want to help them. Yes, I really. You I have a hard the, time. You did, the, you did the feat of an influencer, which was to boldly go where others weren't willing to go. You went there for you. Yes, because it was, it was hard. It's hard for me to... The reason why only two people on the team know it, because it's hard for me to show my emotions sometimes. So doing it on camera was a big deal for me. Mm. Sharing that with, with our audience was a big deal for me. So, but I felt Don't like it wasn't about me. That sacredness of what a gift that was to us to know what is the why behind what 22 Social is all about. I mean, I, I'm so much more in, in connected to what your work is all about and passionate about helping you, however that is, even today, saying, okay, can we get that message out there in a bigger way? Can we work together to get that out there? 
And if that's what I believe happens when we do that. When we step out and we say, look, this is really what's going on. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. We connect at a deeper level. Yeah, I, I think the, what allowed me to do this was knowing that if I went out and did it, then it was going to give some people the permission or the right or, or the feeling that it was okay for them to go out there and just let their emotions out and really let people know why they're doing what they're doing because there's always a big reason behind it and there's always a big reason for that's benefiting your, your, your clients. So there always is. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't do it. You wouldn't feel right to do what you do. So you wouldn't do it for very long you if know, there wasn't I a purpose. I want to address something because some of you might be pursuing things that are really not the clearest expression of what your purpose is. And this is what I want to ask you. If this were the last year of your life, what would you do? Clear out the junk that doesn't belong in your life. Busyness is not a gift. Clear out the things that are not your genius, that are not directly aligned with you. Give that to somebody else that that's their gift, that feels like play to them, so that you can be more free to do what you are uniquely designed to do. Let's see. Let's, we're getting close to so let's see who um, who's getting more likes here. Uh, oh, let's see. Winner. Two. We have one. Um, I think we have one with a four somewhere. Oh, four. Right there, right there. I think I might have seen another four. Okay, I'm gonna refresh right now. So I, if you. Uh, and if there's one really like. I think there's 90. Put um, up maybe one minute before we're done. Uh, it's somewhere. Heidi has four. Uh, let's see, is there another? I, th I thought I saw, I think that's it. How cool is this technology? <laughs> Here we are interacting live and utilizing the largest platform. I want to read this, this one here. It's from Randy Green. There's two things that drive me. Number one, my dad was a slave to his job and missed out on my childhood. And it was caused problems in our relationship through my, throughout, through my life. So I want to build my business to be able to spend more time with my kids plus give parents a vehicle to have time freedom to spend with their kids so they don't have to miss out on their childhood years. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Wow. You know what? I, really, I, I didn't feel my parents. I missed out on or they missed out on childhood because I was working with them. <laughs> but I, we missed out on a lot of other things um, we could have done together. I also have a passion for orphans. I want to open an orphanage in, in every country that my business enters. Beautiful. Wow. Let's see. We have Julie here. Uh, I started Socially Aligned because I truly love helping entrepreneurs grow their business with social media a lot like you were talking about here today with 22 Social. I just signed up with 22 Social yesterday because I think you're going to help me grow at a price that I can easily afford. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. I'm trying to be more visible. Can you hear me? Uh, are we really cutting on the, are we running out of battery life? OK. Uh, let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to be more visible this year so that I can help more people. There's nothing I love more than seeing the light bulb go off when I help someone and seeing them grow their business. Thank you for, thanks. To my strategies. Wow. That light bulb going on. I, I, I could just imagine you, Julie, when you're meeting with somebody and you could tell that, like you said, a light bulb, bulb goes off and you really feel like I've made, you've made a difference. And I'm sure you go through a lot with that, Vanessa, right? So um, we're getting pretty, we're actually past the hour. Uh, but uh, do I'm going to do, I'm going to do last refresh. And we're going to, I think I have, I think there's a winner, but. I'll do one last check. Uh, let's see. Wow, Randy just picked up a few likes. 
but I st we're still with Heidi. So um, one of her comments got four likes. It was actually her question, but I think she's commented enough. So if you're happy with that choice, I think Heidi's a, Heidi's a winner. So Congratulations, Heidi. Heidi. I look forward to connecting with you. So uh, what does she have to do? You want her to post on your Facebook? or? Yes. Well, this will be posted on my Facebook, correct? Yeah, so you so, can look through the name and contact her personally. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so Send Heidi. Send me a private message, Heidi, on the Facebook there. You'll have the link to the page where this was showing. So send me a private message and with your contact information, and we'll set up that session. I look so forward to diving in deep. I know that there's a deep passion inside of you and a purpose. It'll be my pleasure to serve you to how do we translate that into profits and into sales on your behalf so that you can serve more people in the world. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's been great. <laughs> thank you. Thank. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching and for. Um, uh, giving me the opportunity to be open with what our our passion here at Twin Social is. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You'll be seeing more of us, obviously, and Vanessa, you're going to have a live uh, hangout show on a weekly basis. We're going to start help you start that soon, so you, people are going to get a lot from you. I'm really looking forward to that. So. Then I get to have you as a guest. <laughs> oh, I would, I would love that. Um, okay, with that, I'm going to say goodbye until next time. Ciao. Beijos.